document. So I go to, I have the fairy tale news release here. So you create your document, it's all there, you like it, uh, you end up going and doing your file, publish to the web. Now you have two options here, you can link or you can embed. If you want to post it into the blog site, you want to embed it. Um, if you just want to link to it, that's another option as well, but it gives you this here. Uh, you can link to it and it makes it visible to anyone by publishing it to the web. So you don't have to go into the share features uh, like you would if you personally share a document. This will make it available by the link. I usually go in and do both just to make sure. So I want to embed. So I'm going to go over and click embed and then I'm going to click on publish. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And it gives me the iframe information and I will copy that. I also want to look down here on the publish content and set settings. I can stop publishing here, but what I really want to make sure of is that I have this checked automatically republish when changes are made. That way if I find a typo, if I need an update or anything else, I don't have to come back to this step again and republish. It'll automatically update no matter where it's embedded all at once. Uh, good way too then if you have the document in mul uh, multiple sites or multiple postings and everything else, you don't have to remember where you went to for everything. So now I have that all set. I have my iframe code here all copied. I can X out of here. And then I'm going to go over to um, the website. So here's my Bergeron post where I have my document and when I look at it in the editor it's just this here. In order to put it in though I have to go to text up at the top here on the right and put paste it in as code. So I'm going to put my iframe in here like that. I'll go back to visual and this time it shows up a little box like this here. Another part is, is that sometimes that box may not be the right um, frame size. So you can go down here and look and what you want to look at is the width and the height. So in the blog you might want to increase that maybe to 700, oops not 700,000. 700 and then you know how high do you want it and that's just depending on your content so I'm going to make this 700 by 300. I can go then and update that and place it all in and what should happen then is if I go after updating I go back and view the site all right, so here it is. It's posted. This is 700 by 300. It gives it a nice line of sight. Uh, it acts as a scroll, so when I'm in it, someone can scroll it, so that's if it's a little bit longer, and that's the way you can embed. Works great.